Okay guys, so let's start right at the very beginning. What exactly is a remix? So I like to think of a remix as what you end up with when you start altering the original track in some way to create a different version of it. So you might wanna add things, you might wanna remove elements, you might wanna change elements uh, within the track, but you essentially are creating a completely different version to that of the original. Uh, sometimes this is now called reworking instead of remixing, but it's essentially the same thing. So for example, you might want to change the tempo, you might want to speed it up or slow it down. You might want to completely change the bass line, you might want to completely change the vocal melody. For example, you might want to uh, chop up the vocals and, and create a completely new melody out of that. And remixes can be very, very similar to the original. For example, uh, a pop song that literally they just want a more slightly more clubby feel to it so it's going to be slightly faster with a, maybe a slightly funkier bass line but it's going to be essentially the same track very recognizable to the original or a remix can be completely different um, it really depends on what you've been commissioned to do or what you've decided to do yourself whether it's a you know an unofficial remix um, it really depends on the style in which you're planning to do the remix in so an example of a completely different remix might be someone like uh, the very talented Skrillex who completely and utterly mashes up all the synth lines and the vocal lines but you can still hear that it's the original track but it's just done so differently and just so well. So that's my take on what a remix is. So you've probably heard the term bootleg as well. Um, a bootleg is very very simply just an unofficial remix. So a remix will be when you've been commissioned by the record company to do an official remix and a bootleg will be when you've just done it yourself you've got the acapella off the internet or whatever and you've done it unofficially so really that's the only difference and a bootleg obviously refers to anything illegal and it comes from the old days of when people used to stuff um, illegal stuff down their boots basically like knives, pistols and drink liquor okay so that's where that comes from You've probably heard the term mashup as well, of course, I'm sure you have, it's a very common term. And a mashup is simply combining two songs together, or sometimes three, uh, and where you keep perhaps the original bed of one track and put a different vocal from another track over the top. Something like that, so you know, you're creating a new song if you like, but the other two songs are still recognizable, it's just basically mashing them together. And some very good mashup artists are out there, and I can think of a couple off the top of my head. The Cut Up Boys do very good mashups, and also DJs from Mars do superb mashups as well. So that's the difference. And there is just one final term I want to clear up, and it's called an edit, or sometimes called a re edit. And it's what DJs do basically when they don't particularly like the structure of a track or they want to make it longer or shorter. So for example, um, I've done it myself. You've got a really, really great track, but the intro is not long enough for you or the outro is not long enough for you. So you can literally just chuck the song into your door of your choice and just increase the intro with a few more bars or whatever. Uh, same thing, you might want to do a radio version. If you've only got the long version and you want to do a radio version, you might want to re-edit it, re re that as well. Another use might be because perhaps there's one tiny section in the song that you feel doesn't really quite work. There's a rap in there which you want to take out or you want to slightly extend the build up or whatever. So that's the reason why you might do a re-edit. But it's basically the, exactly the same song just with a, a section or two slightly changed for your own personal benefit. And also it's a good idea if you're a DJ looking to sort of stand out a little bit more it's a good idea to do a re-edit, so it would just make your, when you play it out, it would just make it slightly more original than everyone else, than millions of other people that play out the same track. Okay, so that's a edit or re-edit.